Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we're coming into this weekend. You know what's going to happen. Comet Linear. And early in the morning at 2 a.m. Eastern, between 2 and 4 a.m. Eastern, if you're living in North America, and if the stars are out, you can walk, walk outside and just stand there and look into the heavens and watch meteorites zipping past the earth. It should be spectacular if it's a perfectly clear starry night anywhere in Canada and North America. Now, but NASA is now saying, of course, the Earth is going to pass through the Comet Linear's debris field. Comet Linear is going to go by the Earth. You won't, I don't know, you might see if you have a telescope. It's a very dim comet. It's not very bright. But the meteors that are coming with it are going to light up the sky. And potentially, you may see some break through the Earth's atmosphere with balls of fire. And there's even the potential we could get hit with a meteorite or two or more. Matter of fact, NASA's now saying that the moon will probably get hit and could create some massive explosions on the moon because this meteor is going to be closer to the moon than the Earth. Yet it's going to be between the Earth and the moon. Now the moon is 238,000 miles from the Earth. And Comet Linear is going to go past the Earth at 186,000 miles from the Earth, which means it will only be, folks, we're talking uh, 60,000 miles from the moon, which means the moon should encounter some serious collisions with some of these asteroids and meteorites. We might. We might, according to NASA. And we, we really need to watch and see what's going to happen. Um, this is the closest a, a comet's ever went by the Earth. And it's, been, it's the closest one since the 1700s, and this is even closer than that one. So we don't know what we're going to encounter. And it just so happens that the Iranian defense minister will be in Moscow meeting with Russia, uh, and also the Pope will be in arriving in Israel, but going to Palestine. It'd probably be in Jordan and then going to Palestine about the same time this is taking place. Uh, going to Bethlehem. So there's some significant things going on in the earth as well as up in the heavens. The Bible said there'll be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity or confusion. And I can tell you, the Pope not coming to Jerusalem first, but instead going in the back door into Bethlehem, having a big deal, and then showing up in Jerusalem the last day and just kind of shaking hands and leaving town. That's very confusing to me. When you read the Bible, the body of Christ has to understand Israel's role in the end times. If not, then you believe what's called replacement theology, which you believe that there is no Israel. If you believe that, then you need to go back and reread the Word of God. It is absolutely very clear the role that Israel and the land of Israel plays in the last days. But you still are not saved by Israel. You're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, by grace through faith in him. Let's not argue that. But let's remember, something significant is taking place with these signs in the heavens at the same time that he's making that appearance. Now, I want to thank Reverend Gary for this report. But according to NASA and uh, SpaceWeather.com, an anticipation is building. New meteors showers on the Earth and the Moon. The anticipation is building as the Earth approaches a cloud of debris or a debris field from Comet Linear. This weekend, the meteoroids hitting the Earth's atmosphere could produce a never-before-seen shower in the sky. It'll be peaking at about 200 meteorites per hour from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Eastern in North America. Earth won't be the only body passing through this debris zone or debris field. The moon will be too. And these meteorites hitting the lunar surface could produce explosions. Well, what could happen if they hit the Earth's surface? Could it also create explosions? Of course it can. But NASA doesn't want to make you afraid or start panicking or have some kind of fear, all right? But of course it can. Um, and we've never been here before. We've never passed through a comet's debris field. We have 
And we always pass through comets, debris, trails. That's a big difference, folks. A big difference. So we're going to wait and see what this means. It happens on Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, May 24th. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I'll be right back.